Josh Allen's completion percentage on Thursday was not great, in part because a few heaters he threw on target could not be handled by Bills receivers, some of which who are currently on the third team. Learning how to catch a Josh Allen fastball does take some time. I definitely got to be ready for it, you know, because sometimes you got to get just your head around quicker. Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes you got to anticipate the throw before you come out your break, you know, knowing where he's trying to put the, put the ball. You know, if he has a laser arm, which he does, you know, we got to get used to that. And who, it doesn't matter who's out there throwing the ball, but, you know, he, he has a pretty strong arm, and that's just something that we have to adjust to as receivers. To be successful in this league, you got to know what quarterback you're dealing with. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely um, it's helpful to know, you know, what to expect and what you're going to get. Plus backs and stuff that's versatile can go out in space, even like slants and outs and option routes. You got to be ready for the ball at any given time. And never think you're too, you're, you're covered. It's outrageous though. Just catching like that. So when it get cold, I'm going to have to let him know. Like we got to take some steam off that when, it get, when the weather go down. But uh, definitely a great quarterback. With those fastball throws like that, sometimes depending on the wind or depending on what angle you're catching it, it can come a little funny sometimes, but it definitely gets there. Traveris Cadet compared Allen to Aaron Rodgers in that he has the arm talent to overcome other deficiencies in a passing game, even throw a guy open. Even if the ball comes out late, Cadet added, it can still get in there. With the Bills Report at St. John Fisher College, I'm Thad Brown.